Homicide detectives will be forced to revisit their investigations into the murder of NHF employee Lilian Gadenya while there after failing to get a suspect. A week since the woman was shot dead. Detectives had earlier arrested a man who they believed was involved in her murder after being found in possession of a pistol which was confiscated. The firearm was put under a ballistic examination and compared with the bullet recovered from the woman's lungs. Detectives say they have been forced to let the man free since the result turned out to be negative, despite the man having been within the area where police believe the gunman was when the shooting happened. The man was arrested in Kenol Muranga and placed under custody for giving out confusing information over the events on the fateful day. Police say they will still summon him if need be, as they pursue the suspect who discharged the bullet that killed Waidera. Crime scene experts who reconstructed the scene and pathologist say the bullet that killed Waidera entered through the collarbone as it was fired from an elevated angle. Ballistic experts say the bullet was probably discharged from a Glock pistol. Waidera was shot on Monday, 13 February this year along Kaunda Street in Nairobi CBD at around 5 p.m. Witnesses who were in her company say she collapsed and lost her breath as they walked home from NHF offices in Upper Hill. It was not until an autopsy was conducted on the 46-year-old woman when a bullet was discovered lodged in her lungs. The story changed from a normal death to a possible murder, but with the suspect nowhere to be seen. Police have placed Jubilee Insurance House at the possible spot where the shooter was when the shooting happened. After failing to link the suspect they had in custody to the murder, police now say they will revisit the crime scene and interview more people as they gather both circumstantial and directive evidence. Franklin Wala, K24 TV.